Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing the basics of a projectile. And to start, we're going to need a new scene. And we're going to name the scene. Go save as. Now to start, we're going to need a plane for our ground floor. I'm going to reset that to zero. I'm going to need a sphere. I'm going to reset that to zero, but I'm going to drag this up to one on the Y and reset it scaled to the smaller scale so it resembles a projectile. And finally, I want to add a cube as a target. I drag this to about 2.75 and at 1. Next, I'm going to bake my lighting. Lighting, generate lighting. That's going to illuminate everything a little bit more. Going to make things a little more white so it's harder to see. So, with that, I want to create a material. We will create a new folder. Materials. And create a new material in here. Call this, call it red. It's going to go blue, but red for projectile. We're going to take this. Go over here, click on this. If it lets us, there we go. We're going to drag and drop that onto our projectile. So now we can see both the projectile and the target we're going to be hitting. Next, we need to create a script. So within scripts, create C sharp script. I'm going to call this projectile as well. You're going to hear this word a lot. Let it create that. <clears throat> now, let's take this and drag and drop it onto our projectile object, which we should rename. So now we have a sphere in the world that is our projectile that's going to be moving forward on the z-axis, which is this way. And hitting our target. Another thing we need to add on here, since we're going to be using it, is our rigid body. And there's nothing we need to change at the moment, but I will show you why we need to change this to continuous here in a second. So within our projectile and our script, we need to add a few variables. As soon as it loads up, there we go. One variable will be a float called speed. And this will be set to 5 at a default. So we could change this. And the way we need to change it, or a way we can change it rather, would be to add serialized field in front of float. Now if I save this and go back, Our projectile here on the left, if we click on it and go down, now we can see our speed and change that forward, back, however you wish within float. Um, you could also type that in if you wish. So other than speed, we need another float called destroy time. Because we don't want a bunch of bullets in our scene taking up CPU and it'll start lagging if you get a lot of them in there. I'm going to set this to 5 seconds, 5F since it's a float. And finally what we need is a rigid body. A rigid body RB, easy enough. And in start we need to initialize that rigid body. RB equals 
get component type of rigid body. Now all we want to do is on start create a small impulse that jolts this thing forward and they have a nice function for that within rigid body so rb dot add force and the way we want to go is whatever way forward is for our for our projectile which would be this way on the v-axis add force so vector 3 dot forward we're going to multiply that by our speed and then we're going to do force mode that impulse adds an instant force impulse to the rigid body using its mass that's what we want and finally in here what we want is a destroy we're going to destroy this game object after the amount of time we specified within destroy time. That should be everything. So break this up. We're grabbing our rigid body here, and then we're adding a force vector three dot four times speed, force mode dot impulse, and then we're destroying this game object after destroy time. So coming back over here, want to make sure we got everything. We got our projectile. It's on the sphere collider, and it's got a rigid body added to it already. So if we hit play, you should see that it goes forward and drops. Nope. Final thing, main camera. Control shift F while you're hovering over the scene view will change that camera to exactly where you're looking. Try that again. So it threw it down. It is going forward, but it's not going as fast as it should be. So if I take this, there's a couple things we're going to do here. One is we're going to take this projectile and make it a prefab. Now prefab is a little different. It's kind of like if you're building with Legos and you create a wall and you take that wall piece and you set it aside. You can then grab that wall piece at any time. So what we're doing is taking this projectile and setting it aside. So we could grab this projectile at any time and drag it back into the scene. So now there's two. So what I could do is if I hit play, It'll play that first projectile, and it'll shoot it forward. Then if I grab out of my prefabs and drag it back into the scene view, another one will shoot forward. And another one. Simple enough. I could keep doing this as many times as I'd like. But what we need to do is go to our projectile now. We're going to up the speed to 50. Now when I play, Actually, I need to add this. There's overrides up the top right. This has to do with projectile and the um, the prefab that I just created. So I want to override this prefab in the folder as well. Or the easier way to do it is to click on the prefab itself, set this to 50. If I do not, this one would will shoot out at 50 for speed. But then every time I drag and drop any of these, they'll be set to 5. So I could grab the projectile prefab itself and set that to 50. So now no matter how many I drag in, they're going to be at 50. I know it's a little confusing. You'll get it though. So now if we press play, it should shoot out at 50 for its speed. But that will be going too fast. It goes right through the cube. If I drag and drop another one. Barely even see it. I can't even see it, honestly. They're going so fast, they're going right through the cube. 
So this is where I was talking about setting this collision detection. If we set this continuous, it will not allow that to go through the cube at all. It will now hit the cube and fall down. There it goes. The second one. These are not going where I want them to go. Because I did not, so when I added it here, I did not tell the prefab itself to override, override all. So now, when I drag them in, they should be fine. So this one go forward, hit the cube, drag this one in, should hit the cube, drag this one in, it should hit the cube. So what's happening is they're going so fast that in one frame is here, and then the next frame is here, intersecting it, but it does not count the collision. And when you set the projectile to continuous, it will count that collision. It's a little more um what's the word i'm looking for it's a little more heavy on the cpu but these are just bullets these bullets are going to be on screen for maybe five seconds and then off so it's not too intensive on your hardware and that is about all i got for you this time remember to comment like and subscribe especially subscribe that helps me a lot um yeah if you have any problems let me know in the comments below thank you